Hey guys, Mike Scan here on Three Minute Thursday, where we take three minutes and unpack ideas and subjects in from the scriptures, from Genesis all the way through Revelation. Today's three minutes is going to be three minutes in the Torah. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions and ideas when you first talk about Torah. When people mention the word Torah, they're like, they think it means one thing when it actually means something else. I'll hear questions like, is the Torah only for the Jewish people? Or was it abolished when Yeshua came? Uh, is it the law? Those are great questions and questions that we tend to hear all the time. First and foremost, the Torah is the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and of course, Deuteronomy. It consists of the teachings and the writings of the laws of God. Matter of fact, the word Torah means teachings, writings, or instructions, and yes, sometimes law. But unfortunately, in most of the Bibles that we have today, the word Torah was replaced with the word law by the translators. And so some believe that was done on purpose. Some would say it was just an accident in translation. We really don't know. But there is Torah in the law. But Jesus said himself in Matthew that he didn't come to get rid of the law or abolish the law, but he came to fulfill it. And that's where the confusion is when we come to talking about the word Torah. Because we think it means law, we think that it's all been done away with. And so like the Bible of the Old Testament, nobody wants to follow anymore. And we say the only thing that we need to follow is the New Testament. Here's what we believe for Torah observant people. It's all relevant. From Genesis to Revelation, the Torah is God's writings and instructions uh, and it is some of his law. The word that gets confused is the word that we hear that means fulfilled. The word fulfilled comes from a Greek word and it actually means to accomplish or carry out. Jesus, the Bible says, was the Torah made flesh. He became flesh. As a matter of fact, as we wrap this message up, I wanna remind you on some things that Jesus said. Jesus commanded us that in the Bible, he said that when asked what was the greatest command in the Bible, or, and they were talking about the Torah, what was the greatest law to follow, Jesus' response to them was to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. The second question, then, then, then he followed that up by saying to them, there's a second that's just as great, and that is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, then the question is, where did he get that information from? Well, he got it from Deuteronomy chapter six, the Torah, and from Leviticus chapter 19, verse nine. Both of those came from the law or the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. You see, Jesus taught from Torah. Paul, an apostle that actually came over and brought the gospel to us, also taught from the Torah. As a matter of fact, all the apostles taught from the Torah. So is the Torah relevant for today? Yes and amen. The Torah is relevant for today, just like the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is, is relevant to you. Yes, there are some points in the Torah that we no longer follow because there's no temple and certain things like that. But all the top Torah is for us today. I love you guys. I hope this helped answer some questions. Shalom. Until the next time, we'll see you then.